everyone and welcome to PC Academy on this Monday morning. Uh, two all-in-one computers have come in for hard drive issues. Uh, there's this Lenovo and there's also this HP. An iPad has also come in uh, that somehow has got corrupted uh, during an update. We can't seem to get out of it so we're going to attempt to do a full factory reset and update through iTunes on my iMac. The Lenovo I don't think will be um, overly difficult to work on. However, when you're fitting SSDs in all-in-ones, you just never know what you're going to come across. The HP looks like it might be slightly more work uh, to get the rear cover off as it looks like it has the screws at the bottom that you have to twist to start the procedure. But again, we'll see how that goes when we get into it. In this particular video, I'm just going to be working on the Lenovo and the iPad that has come in that we've got to reset via iTunes. Yes, you are right. You probably have noticed my beard is a lot uh, less in growth because I've trimmed it. So, yes, it's a slightly different look in this video. I won't hold you uh, back any longer because I know you're waiting to see it. So let's get straight into the video and see how this Lenovo goes. So I've messaged the customer um, in the process of backing up the data uh, from this machine, which equates to about 80 gig at the moment. Plus I've been dropped in a couple of other units, really old ones. Uh, they want the data off that as well. So we'll move on to them later. However, where this is concerned, uh, we're gonna fit a 500 gig crucial SSD drive into this. So we might as well move on and get this fitted while we wait for the customer to ring me back so I can tell him what we're actually doing. So let's go ahead now and get this installed. So again, uh, if you've watched one of my uh, previous videos where I was working on the Dell all-in-one, with these kind of casings and um, SSD drives, we're nowhere near the same size. So we're gonna have to um, do a little bit of work of how to place the hard drive best within this casing um, so that it all fits nice and neat. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time now just uh, going over this before I go ahead and uh, fit it and clamp it all down. Okay, so that has to fit that way, which means that we can't screw it to the casing. Okay, so because of the height thing, this cabling is going to be sat quite low. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this plate into this housing. So it will go in something like this. Something like that as a guide. And then the hard drive will go on the or on top, however I deem the best fitting, so that when you turn it over, the whole thing will be low enough to reach the cabling. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, make a start now on getting this in the best position possible. Okay, 
Okay, so that will go over like that. So that now needs to go under there. And we shall screw this into place. So what I'm doing here is I'm making these holes bigger so that these little fitments go right through completely because at this moment in time they don't go through complete so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time making these holes a little bit wider okay so now they fit through the holes completely just a better fitting Okay, so we've got some screws in there. That's the SSD fitted on top of this plate. And then when you flip it over, the wiring and everything is all in the correct place at the correct height. It can't really go anywhere, but just uh, for my own peace of mind, what I will do is I will add just a small amount of hot wax in the gap just to hold that plate um, in place. But as I say, it's not detriment to the working of anything. It's just me uh, wanting everything uh, as right as possible. Okay. Let's get this into place. So, there we have it. So, we're not going to put this case back on yet. Let's get the uh, Lenovo fired up and make sure that Windows installs okay. Okay, so that's the Windows installation underway. Uh, we'll leave that for now and I'll go back to copying up the customer's data. So that's Windows now installed. All the updates are now done. We've copied the customer's data across. So we'll just get this rear cover back in place. And that's this job complete. So there's some little locating tabs here. So we'll just make sure that it's pushed down far enough before we push up and slide into place. Excellent, that cover's now back on and everything is flush fitted. So this all in one is now done. So that's the Lenovo all-in-one now complete and finished. Uh, Windows installed, new SSD drive fitted and the customer's data uh, from the original all-in-one and two other desktops that he brought in now all transferred across. So that's now done. The iPad was just a reset. The customer got locked out. Uh, it's not really a video of it. It was just, show, uh, just me showing you that uh, it was actually repaired through my iMac, that's all. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to move on to the all-in-one HP and all the components have now arrived for a custom build. For, um, it's not really a gaming PC, it won't be used for that. However, the specification is based around gaming. So it's really high-end and um, I'm looking forward to making a start building that. But before that one, I need to get on with the uh, HP all-in-one. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.